Welcome back to Everyday Race. Today I've decided to make another video about a Ford Ranger or Mazda B Series trucks gauge cluster upgrade. This uh, applies to 95 to 97 uh, models. Uh, so you've decided just to upgrade the gauge cluster and uh, buy another gauge cluster. So you ended up going with the uh, Ford Explorer. This one's a 2002, I believe. Or a 98 to 2001, I believe, uh, blackface gauge cluster. You put it in, you start driving, and then all of a sudden, the temperature gauge is all the way up top, and the check gauge comes on. You're freaking out. What is going on? The truck is about to blow up. Nope. That's not the case. So, let me show you uh, the real temperature of the engine. For that, I'm going to use this uh, BA, BAFX Products OBD2 Diagnostic Interface. So I'm going to plug it in. Alright. Let's look at the data. It's showing 197.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a normal temperature for for these engines 194 still the gauge is pegged and the check gauge is on so that's not cool what do you do you like this gauge cluster i like this gauge cluster i want to keep it on the truck well there is a fix so let me show you how to fix the problem All right, before I show you how to fix it, uh, we're going to look inside each one of these gauge clusters and we'll see what the differences are. So this is a 95 through 97 Ford Ranger Mazda B Series trucks uh, gauge cluster. Uh, this is a 98 and up uh, Ford Explorer. And the difference you can tell is by the part number. F87, 8 stands for 98 and up. F57, you got to look at the 5, that means it's a 95 part. And last but not least, 2001 to 2003 Sport uh, Ford Explorer Sport Track Gauge Cluster. I, I think this is one of the nicest ones you can get for upgrade. So, let's take the coolant temperature and fuel gauge uh, assembly off and see exactly what we're looking at all right so this is a servo and it has what seemed to be what looks like a resistor and it's showing 920 92 ohm. Now let's look at the Ford Explorer. It does not have a resistor. Now let's look at the Sport Track. Once again, it does not have anything. So, the only difference between Sport Track, Explorer, in a 95 to 97 gauge cluster is this resistor, a 92 ohm resistor. So, there it is. It's actually, you can actually pull it off from the servo. So if you still got your old one, you can pull it off or you can go to the electronics store or go online and find a 92 ohm resistor. So which gauge cluster do you want to see working uh, let's go with the spore track so all we have to do is install this resistor quit moving around on this pegs man Alright, so I've installed the resistor, 
bridging these two connectors on the Ford Explorer uh, temperature gauge and uh, fuel gauge assembly. So now let's plug it back in and install it in a 95 Ranger and see if that that's all that needs to be done. Let me pull this one out and put this one in. Hi, I installed the gauge cluster in the truck and let it warm up to 190 degrees. And as you can see, it's reading right in the right in the middle at about 190 degrees. So, and uh, the check gauge light is off. I'm going to let it warm up to 200 degrees and uh, see what happens. Alright, 212 degrees, it's right in the center. So, uh, let's see what happens at 220 degrees. Alright, at 219 degrees, it's, it's uh, closer to the... Uh, Hot. So, all right. So I wasn't happy with how the gauge was showing uh, 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so I ended up going to local. Uh, Electronics store and picking up a bunch of different resistors from uh, I just guessed from 1.1 kilo ohm to To about 120 ohm and now I'm going to test them out so far uh, I've installed a hundred uh, I just installed 1.1 kilo ohm resistor in the gauge Come on And uh, it's reading 123.8 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's where the gauge is at. So it's uh, it's looking good. So now I'm going to warm it up to 190 degrees, and then uh, see see what it looks like. All right. So with 1.1 uh, kilo ohm resistor, uh, the gauge is right in the middle, and it's at 170.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see how high it gets. Uh, let's see what it shows at 200 degrees. Okay, we got 188 degrees with 1.1 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, let's see what happens at 200 with the 1.1 kilo ohm. Alright, check gauge came on at 215 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with 1.1 kilo ohm. So next I'm going to try a 500 ohm resistor and see what happens. Alright, uh, just put the uh, 500 ohm resistor on there just like so for testing. I'm going to plug it in and see what it reads at all right 500 ohm resistor at 270 at 217 degrees fahrenheit the check gauge came on time to try something uh lower all right i got the uh, 220 ohm uh resistor in there it's 200 19 degrees and the gauge reads uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to take it any higher. 220 is pretty hot. I'm going to let it cool off and see what the gauge reads at about 190 degrees. Uh, for some reason I think 220 is going to be a winner. So let's see what it looks like at 190. Alright so it looks like at 185 degrees with two, 220 ohm resistor the gauge reads right in the middle so that's the one that I'm gonna keep in the gauge uh, at 
works out real good. That's enough testing for today. Alright, so if you want to install a 98 plus gauge cluster, one like this, or one like this, in your uh, 95 to 97 Ford Ranger, all you have to do is you have to get a half a watt or a one watt 220 ohm resistor and you have to bridge these two connectors and your temperature gauge uh, will read but just like that at 184 degrees and I think it'll max out at around 240 which is way too much but if you don't use the uh, resistor about 190 degrees it's gonna it's gonna pretend it's gonna show you that the engine's overheating and the engine is not overheating at 190 degrees so uh, that was a fun test uh, I got a couple of more things to come but if you uh, enjoyed this video hit a like button and uh, have a good day